Welcome to the Australian Games Expo. I'm here, and I am here with our special guest, Martin Wallace of Tree Frog Games. And Martin, thank you for coming to the Australian Games Expo. What has been, well, first of all, your experience of Australia uh, in coming over this year? Uh, well, I'd like to thank you for inviting me as a guest, well, my, myself and my wife. Um, I have to be honest, it's a wonderful opportunity to see uh, Australia, which is an absolutely amazing country. We've had a wonderful time here. We've visited many places before coming here, so that's been positive. The expo itself, I have to say, has been a pleasant surprise in that, um, obviously, it's not the same size as places like Essen or Gen Con in America, um, but there's still a uh, there's a really nice buzz at the show, and there's lots of friendly people here, made lots of friends, a wonderful opportunity to show our product to people here who I feel are gonna go off and talk about this in their own gaming community. So, so for TreeFrog itself, it's been a wonderful way to um, increase our profile uh, in Australia. Okay, thank you. And what are some of the games that you've uh, been demonstrating and exhibiting at the Games Expo? Well, I suppose the main one is the Discworld game, which, and this is the first show that we've exhibited the game at. In fact, before this show, nobody knew we were going to publish it, so it's only been made public knowledge at this show. So the people who've had a chance to play the game are the first people in the world to try this game in a public forum, apart from playtesters. Uh, so this is a license of the Terry Pratchett Discworld game, uh, and more poor. And the reception has been very good. You know, pretty much everybody who's played it has thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, so that's been excellent. We've also showed uh, existing games, uh, our recent release, London, which sold out very quickly. Uh, Age of Industry, we've had the chance to show. And I've also been able to talk uh, a number of people through A Few Acres of Snow, which is, will be our release for this coming April. Okay, and a number of those games sound very oriented towards uh, your experiences in uh, the United Kingdom and England specifically. I mean, could you ever see yourself doing a few acres of dust, which would be much more akin to what's been happening in Australia, or a few acres of flood, perhaps? It'd be quite timely at the moment. It, it's, it's funny you should say that, because uh, I, uh, as some people may know, I uh, like to do a lot of research before doing a game. So if you want to know what games I'm likely to be looking on, it's a good idea to see what second-hand books I've been picking up. And as it happens, I have been picking up some books on Australian history. So one of the things I would like to do is a game about the settlement of Australia from doing as a, as a proper treatment, not as a simple family game, but as more of a gamer's game. Because uh, as far as I'm aware, I don't think that's been done yet. So. Yes, uh, hopefully at some point they, I will be doing a game on Australia. Okay, so that would certainly be a world first as well. Thinking of uh, international exhibitors such as yourself, what two or three things do you think that you could tell international exhibitors about that would make them want to come and exhibit at the Australian Games Expo? Uh, I think you have to say the weather's lovely, very nice weather. The people are really nice very friendly people. I think some of the friendliest people we met at any show in the world. And I think also, I think, I would think, I mean, it's a long way from Europe, so, and America, so I think people kind of discount the Australian games market, thinking, oh, it's just too small to bother with. But certainly seeing people here and traveling around to different cities and seeing the number of game shops and the number of outlets, like bookshops that stock Euro games. I don't think it's a market that can be so easily dismissed now in that it's growing. It is a growing market, it's becoming more popular. So certainly from Tree Frog's point of view, this has been very worthwhile attending here and we hope to continue having a presence here in some form to continue growing the brand here. So I, I think the Australian market needs to be taken more into account by other companies. All right, and uh, one final question is, what has been your favourite favourite experience of the Games Expo? Oh, that's a difficult one. There's been so many. I have to say, one of the things that quite touched me is I did a seminar yesterday where I get to do a more boring bit about telling gamers what not to do in designing games. And afterward, this little girl came up to me who 
who was in, in the audience and just said, that was cool. I want to be a game designer when I grow up. And it's just like, oh. Just, anyway, but uh, yes. A lovely moment. And yes. did you have the heart to tell her that you actually haven't grown up yet either? I just said, train to be a doctor first. <laughs> All right, Martin. Well, thank you very much. That's Martin Wallace from Tree Frog Games. He's been our special guest here at the Australian Games Expo. And this is our final uh, interview for the event this year. We thoroughly look forward to seeing Martin and Julia at future events. And certainly, if you're thinking about coming on down, then please feel free to contact us. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. very much. Yeah.